Hello, and welcome to Story Radio, the podcast for readers, writers, and lovers of short stories everywhere. Today, we're listening to Waiting for Pilar by Declan Garrity. Waiting for Pilar by Declan Garrity. My teeth are yellow. They usually look whiter, but are yellow in this mirror. Even though it's one of those mirrors that makes you look better looking than you really are. The white of the sun cream makes me look a bit clownish and I rub my eyes with tiredness. The sun cream stings, but I still rub them. I always keep rubbing them. The cold water from the sink doesn't help much either. Just time and beer and time. Time passing. And Spanish TV is headache inducing. It took me years to figure out what they were saying. Now I have no interest. Talk show kingpins bullshit on about earth-shaking scandals about celebrities. Left and right-leaning stations, their candidates talk from newsrooms, from pulpits of their own creations, perfectly preened, perfectly turned out. Their retorts, almost like one-upmanship, it seems an awful lot of energy, an awful lot of energy over nothing. And songs in Spanish from the 80s and 90s you never heard of. I wonder to myself what I was doing the day they made that video. I would have been a kid in school or out playing football. Maybe I was in mass on a Sunday or watching a film. I open up a beer. It's cold. It goes down well. If all the beers went down that well, you drink all day, which I do anyway. But I drink more. More than this, for sure. The Spanish always ask, why does everybody drink warm beer in Ireland? And I have no answer for them. I sometimes try to defend us, but I wonder why myself. I'd imagine the answer is laziness, but I never tell them that. Don't show them any weakness and all that. I flick through songs and interviews on my phone on YouTube. And before I know it, the night stand by my bed is full of half empty beer cans. They still have weight to them, but I always leave a bit in the end. Tastes horrible for some reason. I switch the air conditioning on and off. It's either too warm or too cold. I always seem to get a sore throat, but it's worth it. Worth it to avoid that heat, that 40 degree July heat. I open the window. It looks out onto a shaded courtyard. The building must be eight floors high. I look up, almost creaking my neck, and catch a glimpse of the baby blue Madrid sky. I hear echoes dart upwards, bouncing off the beige brick walls into the open expanse of Madrid nothingness, and off, like everything else, gone. I see two floors below me, a South American woman doing housework. I'm glad I'm not her. Not now, anyway. I realise I only have one beer left. I open it up and get back to my phone. It buzzes, and it's Pilar. She says she can't meet, something about her kids. She did that last year as well, and it's been literally a year and a half since we did it. I send her a pissed-off text. She doesn't reply. Her body seems more like a 20-year-old than a woman of 40. It must be the diet over here. I wondered was she with me for some kind of rebelliousness. But what did it matter? I was lucky to get her. All those times I was with her. They faded each year to less and less. Until they looked like they would eventually disappear into nothingness. Ghosted or ignored. Maybe just plain forgotten. Gone. Like everything in the end, I suppose. The beer is finished. I'm all about getting up, but I do eventually. Fuck hanging around here sober. The door weighs a ton closing it. The girl on the desk gives me a friendly nod. The stairs wind around and around 
and there's an old elevator that fits about two people. Its wooden doors and steel cage run up through the building like a tree trunk. On the ground floor, the doors swoosh open and I'm suddenly blasted by a world of heat. My body is enveloped in roaring sunlight, car fumes, foreign sounds and sandals. The shop is empty and an Asian guy serves me. He watches some hyperactive Chinese soap opera on an old, small, square TV. I look at it, uninterested yet, at the same time, enthralled. I take my beers and go back to the hotel. The door weighs a ton and I put back on the air conditioning. I rub my eyes with tiredness. Cheap Ryanair flights at six in the morning are not good for your health. At least I'll get my daughter tomorrow, back to Dublin for a few weeks. The relief of seeing her, like a weight is lifted. I take a beer from the white plastic bag I left on the bed. I sit down and open it up. There's nothing on TV. There never is, but I watch it anyway. I wait on a text from Pilar, but it never comes. was Waiting for Pilar, written by Declan Garrity and read by Mickey Lentin. If you're enjoying the podcast, don't forget to leave us a review or follow to hear a new episode every month. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.